Good morning, healthy warriors, or trying to be healthy warriors, right? So, new day, new, new start, new beginning. Come on out here and walk with us. Actually, pretty soon you're going to be able to. Please like the video, subscribe. We're going to bring you live every morning when we go on a walk. Why? To inspire you. To be out here walking with us. As a matter of fact, you'll be able to walk with us and we'll be able to talk to each other live while we're walking. Our usual hours are pretty early in the morning. We'll keep you up to date. Usually we're out here about what time? Six, Darlene? Usually 6.30. 6 6.30. Go in early. Okay, 6.30 usually. Unless Darlene decides to go in early to work. Having, having a group to be able to hold you, to be able to encourage you, that's what it's all about. I don't want to go on too big of a story here, but it's important for you to know this, I think. So I'm going to mention it, of course. When I first started going plant-based, I had nobody. And it was three or four years after I was plant-based that I met my first vegan person. Because I'm in Tennessee, there's nobody here that's, you know, eats like that. So... Not vegan. Yeah, I'm not vegan though. But we eat honey. At one point, anyway, I support vegans. I think it's great. But no, I'm plant based. Anyways, I, I only do it for my health, and, and you know, I mean, of course, you know, we appreciate and love animals. Anyway, right. platform though is health. So. Come on, boys. Come on, Granny. Anyway, would love to have you on the walk. A support group is the biggest thing. Besides support group, consistency, and just the knowledge. So you know to be able to use that and have the wisdom. So that you can use that knowledge and get healthy. I see so many people, like we're out here walking in a uh, cemetery. Boy, I'm telling you what. They might not be out here walking every day. But you can tell they're not on the right diet. Okay? I mean... They might be able to keep their blood pressure down. I just think that, you know? Mm -hmm. But as far as all the other diseases that, that come along with eating meat and dairy and gluten and processed food, unfortunately, you know, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be one of those other, usually it's gonna be one of those other five in the top dragon. But anyway, we're out here. We love you. Darlene's a punk. I am, I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So we'd love to be your extended family and your support group. Because it's not easy. I'm hey. not sure I'm not sick, but I'm a blast. You're a blast, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to say that one today. Come on, oh. Darlene. Oh. I'm just playing Jane today. I'm going to need a support group because... Until I get a, until I get a, uh, why does that wear up my arm to carry this phone? What the heck? Cause you hadn't hung it up, you know? This is weird. I need to get one of those other, let's see. Can I put it on the dogs? I can't even get it on the dogs. I will. There they are. <sighs> okay. So just a recap on yesterday. What we ate yesterday. Well, yesterday I ate almonds, bananas. Oh, Darlene made some. Well, yeah, I mean, I ate those. I ate a few cashews. Almonds. Oh, no, that's the good thing that we. I actually started a video on that yet last night. But anyway. Might do one today. Darlene made some delicious hummus. It's oil free hummus. You want to tell about it? You want to here? Uh, what do you tell about? Tell them how about you how you made your hummus. Where they can hear you. Go ahead. I rinsed off some 
kind of beans are those start to the sea. I don't know. Camelli? Camali? Yeah, and then a can of Great Northern and a can of Chick. And yeah. I didn't have any, uh, I wasn't going to mince my garlic. He wasn't there. So I just used garlic powder. It's hey, boy. Right. Yeah. That's really the. Okay, you did it how now? Because I, he wasn't there and I wasn't mincing that garlic. So you took your cans of beans. I just took some garlic powder. Yeah. Slapped in there. A little bit of pepper. And then that Creole seasoning. Okay. I just I didn't use very much of that at all. Alright. And uh, one whole lemon. But now was it, it was a big lemon and I did a total of six cans. Two of each. Six cans of beans. Uh-huh. Two cans each, so you're talking about two the chicks, canelli beans. Two great ah. northern and then two camelo. Come on. Come okay, on. two chick, two great northern and two canelli beans. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta tell you. No. I used to think that hummus was just made out of chickpeas too. No, no, no. If you want something really creamy, um, the northern and the canelli beans mm -hmm. mixed with the, the chickpea chick is absolutely phenomenal. And the seasoning she just riddled off. Please rewind. And I did. Listen again. Uh, and I did not measure like I normally do. I don't the spoonfuls. I just poured. You know, I I think I think that's what. This yeah. time I just pour just to get. Don't measure. You'd have to, you'd have to taste it to see uh, in between just to make sure it's. Taste in between. Oh, wait, I did have to add some water to it. So we took those chickpeas and we put them on and we put that onto what kind of leaves was that? Romaine. Romaine. So chickpeas onto romaine. We put some really nice hot. Um, Make sure you rinse your cans of beans because it looks like you got dishwashing detergent in them. Rinse your beans really well. Where they're not bubbly. Yeah, keep rinsing them until. No bubbles. The preservatives stop bubbling. So, cayenne pepper. We put cayenne pepper. Yeah, you sprinkle that on, on top, top of our leaf wraps is what I call them. Mm -hmm. Leafy bean burritos, basically. They were absolutely phenomenal. Oh, yeah, it's kind of chilly this morning. I'm going to make a little oatmeal today. You're going to do oatmeal? Yeah, just like cook it. To let it sit overnight? No, cook it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I want it a little warm before I go up there and start on the ramp. Mm. Huh. Come on, Marty. Y'all be good. Hope to see y'all live here soon. Once we hit 50 subscribers, I think that that will be an option. It is a journey. And I'm thrilled you're able to take this journey with us. We are very happy to be here. We all need support. We all need somebody to support us when we're trying to do something better to better ourselves. If it's our health, whatever the case is. For me... Of course it's about health. Yeah, because you only have one body. That one body we just, I mean, we should take care of our vessel. Uh -huh. So you're talking from a, you can come at that from a religious standpoint. You can come from that from a self love standpoint. You can come from that from just a common sense standpoint. What standpoint else would you come at? Oh. Don't want to go to the doctor standpoint. Well, um, you have to love your body and love yourself first. You have to what? It's not really, if you're looking at it to lose weight, mm -hmm. no offense. Right. You'll sell every time. Yeah, you will. Yeah. You know, and I, I agree with that 100%. 115 pounds. I, uh, I'm not where I want to be, but I had to just choose that it was, I was tired of hurting, not. How I was looking. Yeah, I mean, the, what I always have said for a long time. I'll let um, you go first. We heal from the inside out. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go first. Okay, we're going to the left. No, go straight. Oh, okay. Where the left was? Uh, yeah, so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> can't hear anything. It's uh, okay. So we heal from the inside out. Don't worry. And. 
yeah so once you're healing and uh you start no feeling, don't do that let's don't, don't start uh, the trouble anyway no, once we start healing right. okay so we heal from the inside out so basically once you're been healing people can see you that you're healing on the outside as you heal on the inside Yeah, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then once you start healing on the inside, if you're on any medications, which if you're over 30 years old, you are, mm -hmm. logistically speaking, mm -hmm. factually speaking, actually, if you go with the stats, unless you're just lucky, but you will be, wait till you're 40, you'll be on four or five. If you don't want to be, Four? I was on four. Ah, uh, you were on four. Yeah. All the over the counter ones, those days. Yeah. So it's a choice. Doesn't it, it's not ninety nine point nine percent of the time it's a choice. If you want to be lazy, then you can call it um, something that you inherit. But you're only inheriting it because you're living the same lifestyle. If you choose to, that your relatives did. If you want to be super blessed, help us. Get rid of the meat. Get rid of the dairy. And uh, get rid of the gluten and all the processed food. And then love your buddy with, with nutrition. I'm on a tirade. Anyway, y'all have a beautiful day. We are here for you. Comment with any questions.